Hello, this is Bob104 Luigi, and yeah, I'm pretty sure many of you heard about what happened with the Cartoon Network Studios. They have unfortunately sold the building probably around August, and then they closed down, forcing everything and everybody to move to a different location somewhere in California, I guess, but I could be wrong. But correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, though. And also, the reason why... A, the reason why for its sudden move is because I think it's because of a merger or something. I'm I apologize for not doing a lot of research because I have been very busy with life because I've been working. I've been you know working a lot, and I and I'm just completely drained when I whenever I come home from work. You know I, I mostly just just go get up, go to work, go home, rest and. Yeah, the whole thing and my whole day process repeats over and over again, except on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, because that's usually my off days. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, the guy, the so-called guy named David Zaslav, the guy who's responsible for the merger, seriously, we need to, seriously, we need to get rid of him. Seriously, we got to get rid of him. Cause he kind of screwed up everything, and once and ever since the merger happened with these two companies, I don't want to name them though, cause I can't remember from the top of my head. Cause since the merger has happened, that unfortunately had forced the forced forced a lot of shows that were that that were being produced to either be either be cut back or scrapped altogether. Or in this case, some shows had may end up getting canceled completely. And that that means a lot of animes are will likely be out of a job. And what's worse, from earlier in 2023, is the writer, Guild of Rider Strike that happened. That happened the same damn thing uh, since uh, I think it's uh, what was it 16 years ago? Yes, yes, it was 16 years ago, somewhere in 2007. When it happened, but now 2023, that shit happens again. Come on, this is ridiculous. Come on, this is ridiculous. Animators deserve, animators deserve better. Seriously, animators, animation deserves better because right now, but right now the animation industry has is being treated as if it were. It's being treated like trash. It's being treated like a business, thanks to that. Thanks for that good for nothing, David Zaslav, the guy who wants to, you know, screw everything and turn everything into some sort of a corporation or whatever. Come on, that is one of the worst. That is one of the worst. Of those two mergers from two companies. That has got to be one of the worst decisions ever, though. And also, I've heard that Paramount and the other company, which I don't want to name because I can't remember, will also be merging with Paramount. Paramount, the one that side that has like Nickelodeon content such as Nickelodeon movies, and the other one that has like Cartoon Network and all and things like that. No, no, I think they should stay separated. They're better off separated because merging them will means because merging them together means a huge disaster to the animation industry. That's gonna lead to a huge disaster. Come on now, people, you gotta stand up for you gotta stand up for what's right for what's right. Put your foot, put your motherfucking foot down, for goodness sake, and stand up to that stupid ass, uh, uh, David Zaslav, and tell him that we will not stand for this crap. Animation, animation deserves better, and of course, people who work on animation, they deserve better, they deserve better too, just like we all deserve our fair share in life. But unfortunately, the higher-ups keep, uh, the higher ups keep chewing us up and spitting us out as if we were a bunch of useless, useless discarded, discarded uh, materials as well as discarded scrap. I'm sorry, discarded debris. But anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, people need to stand up to David Zaslav and tell him that we don't, we won't stand for it though. Because if he doesn't make a, if we don't force him to make a much better change, that it, it'll be. Well, we just have to get rid of them and put someone else in. But I think it'll be best if we. I think it'll be best if we all band together and get rid of David Zaslav, the guy who was responsible for this crap. Anyways, I don't have much to say about it though. But what do you guys think? Cause, cause in my opinion, if we want uh, and because in my opinion, if we want those television programs to thrive, we don't. We have to get rid of these. 
good for nothing, corrupted, cor corrupted people who tend to screw everything up. And also, and the, and the reason why for the mergers is because they want to uh, focus on streaming services such as Pluto and whatnot. And whatever streaming services they offer besides Netflix and Hulu. Seriously. Seriously. Come, come on now. Come on now. 2023 is almost over though. But you guys, but 2023, you guys need to like, you know, band together. Just, you know, band together. Band together. Put your foot down for goodness sake. And and yeah, that's that's the only thing I can say. Anyway, folks, this isn't much that's not much of a rant though, but I just try my best because I have been very busy lately. I haven't had a chance to do any research. Anyway, um anyway, to all the animators out there, we have your back. We have your back. We will we will still support you in any way. We will not support David Zaslav, however, because he just doesn't, he does not care about animation. He just wants to make money out of, he wants to make money out of, about, you know, being greedy and all that. And, and, of course, throwing away animation and whatever. Anyway, I got to go now. So, you, anyway, place your comments below if you can. You can rate. And that's all I need to say. And David, oh, to the good for not the CEO who screws animation. This is a warning. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you. Yeah, anime, animation, you know, we won't stand for this crap. Anyway, I gotta go. Peace. And see you in 2024.